Nematodes continue to cause problems at golf courses. One nematode genus, Meloidogyne, also known as the root knot nematode, is fairly easy to diagnose. This video illustrates how damage caused by this nematode can be identified. The feature of root knot nematode that makes it easier to diagnose than other root nematodes are the characteristic knots or galls that it produces. Most other nematodes feed on the outside of the roots, making damage more difficult to see and diagnosis a little bit more difficult. After the foliage has been inspected for pathogens, I like to wash the soil off the roots so that I can see the roots more easily. With the soil attached, it is difficult to see if there are any pathogens or root nematodes attacking the plants. So let's take a look at the flip side of this sample after it has been washed. Note that the healthier turf is located at the top of the image and the declining turf is at the bottom. Note that the roots at the top of this photograph appear to be more uniform in size and more dense. These roots are under healthier turf. The roots at the bottom half of the image are odd shaped, not uniform in size. Now let's take a little bit closer look at those damaged roots. The knot in the center of this image is an example of the symptoms that root knot nematode is named for. This knot contains several female root knot nematodes. Once in the roots, the nematodes take over and control the physiology of that root cell. Let's take a closer look at the knot and see what's inside. This is under a dissecting microscope and we're using a pair of fine forceps to sort of push around to get the uh, nematodes out of the cells. There you can see a couple of nematodes on the right side and some nematode eggs from Meloidogyne and a few of the second stage larvae that hatch out of those eggs. Now you can see a couple of uh, nematodes on the right side, a third one being probed out, and I believe there's a fourth one on the bottom. Now if you look a little bit more closely using a compound scope, we can see the eggs mixed in with the tissues. There's a few uh, second stage larvae around there, and that's a large female. We hope you enjoyed this short look at root knot nematode. Check the references associated with this update for additional information on management and control.